Yep, yeah, got that done. That done. Uh, yep, yeah, finish that. Wow. Okay, looks like everything's done here. Huh, but I can't help but feel like there's something I'm forgetting. What is it? Something I used to do? Something I haven't done in a long time? Hmm. Oh shit! Just a tip tutorials. Hey, welcome back. It's Corey, aka Kill Paris, your friend here with another tutorial. Sort of. Uh, this one's a little different. We're talking Ableton 10 because February 6th, Ableton 10 is coming out. I've been playing with the beta uh, for the last couple months and wanted to share my top 10 favorite things about it so far. And I'm also very curious to hear what you guys are most excited about, um, what you like, what you don't like. So without further ado, let's get into it. So number 10 for me is the automation slash clips view. Uh, now you can press A on the keyboard and it'll show you all your automation. You can press it again and then just shows you the clips. You can move the clips around really easily. Uh, this is really great for just cleaning up sessions and uh, it's great. It's a nice little feature. Uh, when I first got into the beta, I didn't know that it did this and could not find my automation. And I was kind of bugging out for a good 10, 15 minutes until I figured out you just press A. So. If you're having trouble with that, simple fix. And number nine, another automation thing is the snapping of automation to the grid. Uh, this is fantastic, I think, uh, because it makes automation so much easier and you still have the option of going off the grid if you want. So this is great. You turn on that triplet grid, do some triplet automations. Awesome. So number eight, a uh, bit of a quagmire because I don't think a lot of people are super excited about this, but I do see the utility in it and that is the in and out naming of channels on your sound card. So if you're using a sound card that has a bunch of channels, you got a bunch of crap you know, set up, uh, you're able to name that and then you can see that inside of Ableton. I think that's fantastic, uh, especially for people doing a bunch of live stuff with Ableton where you have a bunch of gear all going at once or even your home studio just having like your guitar channel set up, your keyboard channel set up, your harmonica, channel setup and just having it all set up right there you can see the names fantastic so number seven uh, number seven and number six kind of go together because it's uh, new plugins native plugins that have actually been added to Ableton and number seven is the wavetable synth uh, I think this is fantastic that they're still adding you know new synths new ways to make sounds directly inside of Ableton uh, I think another reason why this is really great is because Instead of using VSTs, especially like when you're playing live, uh, you can use something native to Ableton, so it's less likely to crash and probably uses less CPU. So, and the wavetable synth is great. You know, you can really get a lot of great sounds out of it. I've been playing with it a little bit, it's super fun. So, all right, number six, two new plugins that they've added that I've been having a lot of fun with, the Echo and the Drum Bus plugin. So the Echo is really great because for us that have been using Ableton, I think I've been on since Oh, how long ago was that? It was uh, version 7. Uh, so I've been using you know, the ping pong delay, use a simple delay for some stuff, sometimes a filter delay. Uh, but it's nice to have this echo in there. I like that you can feed back into the echo. You know, the feedback goes over 100% so you can get a lot of cool feedback sounds. Has a reverb built into it. Also has some other options like ducking, uh, which is really, really cool. And the drum bus is fantastic. Uh, you know, it does this kind of sort of compression crunch thing. I'm not so stoked on that. It sounds okay. Uh, but the ability to add uh, like sub and also tune that sub of your drums is freaking fantastic. This is, I can't believe there hasn't been more plugins that have done this, like VSTs, at least not that I'm aware of. But to have this right in there is fantastic. You can take some pretty crappy loops, make them sound good. Um, and you can also tune, you know, tune those kicks, which is, which is great. I think even I haven't even thought of this until I'm saying this now. But putting it directly on just a kick drum and then tuning it that way, I think, yeah, you're you're into the big leagues there. So that's awesome. Uh, number five. This is kind of a twofer uh, because it's things that we've already had, but uh, they're just adding more to it, and it's just more greatness. The more push integration and more Max for Live. Uh, both of these things. The push, let's start with the push. The push is fantastic. Such a great controller, so well made, and it's very sp specific at what it does because it's more of a creation tool and it's built to work perfectly with Ableton. And to be honest, it does work perfectly with Ableton. I know they're freaking expensive, but 
I think it's worth it, especially if you want something that is totally different from a keyboard, totally different from a guitar, whatever you're normally writing music on with a computer. It's nice to have this to just play different, you know, you can do so many cool things with it and has all the scales built in, the drum pads, the pads feel great, and you're able to dial in the sensitivity, fantastic. And of course, more Max for Live stuff. Max for Live, I think, is one of the most amazing things about Ableton and one of the reasons why I love Ableton so much uh, because people just make their own Max for Live plugins. If you have Max for Live, you can just download them for free. Some people sell them because they make really great stuff. Just having more of that is, is awesome. Uh, number four, this is a pretty big one. Uh, I feel like workflow wise, this is gonna make a lot of our lives easier. This, just being able to see all the GD MIDI at the same time. This is fantastic. I, got, I cannot tell you how many times, how many times I've been at the bottom of my session trying to fix a little note, trying to get it to not sound like shit and be on time and it's not in line with the drums up there. You gotta keep scrolling up and down, especially in big sessions. Now you can just see all your MIDI in one area, line everything up. It's gonna save so much time for so many people. I love it. Ableton, you guys are doing great. Uh, number three is a big one, something that should have been implemented a long time ago, but I'm glad it's finally here, and that is the X42 MP3, which I know a lot of you guys, you look, MP3, yeah, shit quality. You know, I don't really care. What I care about is having a smaller file size so that if it's in Dropbox, I can actually play it on my phone without having to wait the length of the song for it to just load up and then stop and start again, stop, start again. Just having that option to be able to bounce straight to MP3 is great. And of course, you can still bounce wave, AIFF, all that shit, you know, export video, whatever you want to do. But now you have the option to do MP3, and I think that's great. Uh, number two, this is a big one. Uh, if you like groups, well, now you can put your groups and groups and put those groups and some more groups and group those groups up into other groups because you can now group groups. This is great, this, uh, man, this is so great. This is something we've been wanting for a long time, obviously, I know a lot of us. Uh, it's, it's great, it makes everything so much easier. You can just do processing to one group that's also being processed by another group. Uh, this is gonna save a lot on CPU because now you can, you can do things you just couldn't do before. Or if you did do them before, you had to like reroute the group to another audio track and then reroute that audio track to another track. And you had just too many tracks, dude. Too many tracks. So grouping groups, fantastic. And number one, guys, this is a big one. Something we've all been waiting for. Something that's needed to be fixed for so long and they finally did it. They fixed the pitch bin problem. Just kidding. They didn't fix it. I don't know, how do you even fix that? First of all, why is it a problem that your pitch bin just doesn't reset? Why, it should reset, right? Should just go, hey, it's not all the way down there where you're saying it is. They didn't fix that. But number one for real is actually a really fantastic feature. My favorite thing, which is why I made it to number one, is the capture MIDI option. I can't tell you how many times Actually, I can't tell you how many times, infinite times, I've been playing something, trying to get this one bar, two bar little phrase just perfectly on the keyboard, on the push, whatever. I'm, I'm grinding there trying to get the perfect thing. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, stop, record. <laughs> Lost it. Lost the idea. You can't, can't get the groove, can't get all that crap back. But now, if you played something, which usually happens, you'll be playing and it's, oh, there it is. Okay, we'll just hit that capture MIDI and you got it, bro. So I think that's fantastic. That's already saved my ass so many times since I've been using Ableton 10 to produce in. Um, and it just makes, I, you, makes you be able to go further with ideas because you'll get down that thing that you actually wanted and you don't have to stop and press record and then kick yourself in the head for not being able to play it again. So that's fantastic. Um, again, guys, I'm curious down in the comments to see what you guys think, what, uh, what you're really excited about, what your favorite new thing is, um, and what the first thing is you're gonna do when you get your hands on Ableton 10, because a lot of people are gonna love it. There's some really, really great things. You know, this is just a small little portion of uh, all the new stuff they added, so super stoked to see what you guys think. Again, I'm Corey, aka Kill Paris. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.